Okay, this thing right here, this was the very first 30 plastic 30 caliber ammo can battery box that I built. And one of the first things I was concerned about is securing this battery inside that box so it wouldn't slosh around and cause some major damage uh, and possibly uh, electrical short. So what I ended up doing was uh, I just had these old uh, rabbit ears laying around from a, uh, I think a cassette deck. I put one in vertical like this and one in lengthwise. And as you can see, you could drop the battery in here like that. Okay. That's pretty solid. You, know, you can see the that's not that solid, but this is, it's not going to fall out. And when I did the wiring harness, uh, I had like this little plastic angle, and this was screwed into there. And I had the battery secured like that. Okay? So it wasn't moving, I was really happy with it. The only problem is, you take a look, see how this is battery's mounted it's all the way in the back and all the way to the one side. And the problem was when you were holding this on the handle, it tended to kind of lean like that. Really feel it. So what I did on subsequent boxes was um, I ended up using like this uh, extruded aluminum uh, L channel. I guess and I put a piece in the back like this, okay. and that was going to be drilled and pop riveted. I take the battery, and the battery sits slightly forward. See how much more centered that is? And then I'll run another angle right here, like this. Pop rivet that on there. And then another one in front. And what I used to keep it from flopping around is, uh, I'll take this uh, four gang fuse block and mount it upside down so I could cantilever the, uh, the cover off. Mount it in like that. And once I do that, that battery is pretty secure. It's not going anywhere. You can turn these upside down. That battery is not going to move. And uh, I just think it makes for a better installation. The box feels more solid. And uh, it's, a, it's a really good uh, really good building tip to secure that battery in there as best you can so it doesn't move. And I found this was uh, the most convenient way of doing it and getting a, a good overall balance so when you pick it up you can carry it for a long period of time and not get fatigued. So that's building tip one.